So today is the day two of building my solar carport. And so far, we've fabricated, uh, you know, two stand already. And what we'll be doing here, it will be more of a coupling. We are not going to weld everything. Aside the stand that we'll be welding, every other thing will be of a coupling type so that if I'm packing out of the place, I can easily uh, remove my carport or my solar stand to any location that I want. So I'll be showing you what we'll be doing here. And uh, this is my design, actually. I came up with this design. So let me show you the stand. This is the stand. We'll have like four of these. That's four pillar. Just go ahead. We'll have four pillar of this. You can see it. I'm supposed to use the other side of the house, but um, I don't want to have problem with my landlord. So I decided to use the back side because the other side is the front and it will be like I deface uh, the house. So the stand will be this way. I will show you the base plate we'll be using. We'll not be, we'll not be digging the floor. We'll just, you know, drill through and put a very long bolt and knot so that whenever we want to remove the stand, we can easily remove it and take it to wherever we want to. Aside this stand, every other thing that will be on this stand will be detachable. You can attach it and decide to detach it at any time. So, like I said, we'll have four pillars like this to hold eight units of 565 watts solar panels so this is the base plate you can see how thick the base plate is now this base plate will be attached to will be attached to the down part of this very pillar so that we'll be able to you know drill the floor put both and up and hold this very base to the floor so i'll take you guys through all the process of uh this very carport and I still remain Mirga Emanuel, your favorite solar energy guide. The reason why we are putting this 1.5 mm pipe, this 1.5 mm pipe in between the pillar is so that the pillar can be strong enough to withstand uh, wind. This place doesn't really have a uh, high, high wind like forceful wind. I've never noticed that, but we still do this in order to protect the stand from, you know, heavy wind.